how you doing? Aaron here. Welcome back to another anime review. Today we are looking at Baruto episode 4. So this week's episode is interesting where we see them having boys versus girls essentially. It's kind of the introduction of a lot of the girls and shows off a lot of their talents as well as showing off some of the boys talents too. Uh, it's one thing I have a problem with this show so far is that it's doing something very similar to Naruto in many ways, where we have these episodes solely focused on the cast of characters. And, you know, at least though it seems like Baruto is kind of learning from Naruto's mistakes, where instead of having, like, every episode be a constant, constant thing showing characters, it's going to be maybe in giant chunks of characters. Like, so this week's episode, we saw a lot of the girls, and we met a lot of them to, you know, understand what their skills are and what the boys' skills are as well. And that was a good idea. That was, you know, something that I think will save a lot of time and a lot of episodes on being just filler stuff and get into the meat and potatoes of what we're actually supposed to be seeing. Uh, by the way, I also just realized that Shino Sensei is Shino, the guy with the, the hood who's always quiet. I just now realized that, holy shit. And I'm like, huh, wow, that's terrible. I couldn't remember that from before, but I honestly God didn't realize that because I'm so used to him always wearing the hood and, you know, always wear the glasses. And I was like, oh, that's why he wears those visors now. That makes sense now. Um, also, I figured out from actually watching the ending music, because I have not actually watched the ending song beyond the first time, which I didn't really like it that much, I was paying attention to it this time, I'm like, oh, that also shows all the matchings of characters together. Oh, wow. Terrible, I didn't realize that before. Um, anyway, so this week's episode was solid overall. I, I did enjoy it. We got to see Baruto actually do summoning Jutsu, but his summoning Jutsu summoned a weird creature that was like... Not anything I've seen before in the show, and I think everyone else realized that too. It was like a mixture of snakes and other creatures, which is really weird. Uh, but other than that, I have no issues with the episode. Hopefully you guys don't have no issues with it either. Please, as you know, let below, tell me what you think of the episode, and I will talk to you guys later. As always, see you guys around. Bye-bye.